Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal? Removing objects with opacity masks, sometimes called garbage mats. Okay, I wanted to make sure that the term garbage mat was in this tutorial because some people will be searching only for that and not opacity masks. Opacity masks are inside Premiere Pro and they're incredibly powerful. You can use them to remove some kind of an object in the background. Let's go have a look. So for whatever reason, we have an interview shot here and here and between the morning shoot and the afternoon shoot, this large little piece in here. Now, this wasn't shot this way. I have manufactured that error, so I've got something to fix. Now, how do we get rid of that? Well, the good thing is that this is a static shot. The background is not changing. This is a um, on a tripod, so I don't have to do that. If this was a moving shot, I would definitely have to track the mask, and that's more complicated. This is a simple fix, so let's do this. So the first thing I need to do is I need to replace this segment and I'll replace it with that segment right here. The first thing I'll do is put Rodney above. So I need to click on this once with the option key on Mac, Alt on Windows, he's selected, then hold the option Alt and arrow up. Next, I want to move this clip over here underneath and copy that. The easiest way to do that, again, is to hold down the Option key or the Alt key, click on this and drag it over. And I've made a copy and I'll just scooch that over. So here is V2 and whoops, let's go over there. Here is V2 and here is V1. The only thing I want to steal from the lower uh, layer, the lower track, is this piece right here. So on the top piece, I need to take that out and that's what we'll use the opacity mask for. I'll select it so it brings my effects to the front and if you twirl down your opacity settings, you'll notice that you have an ellipse mask, a uh, four point polygon, although it says four, it's unlimited, or a free draw a Bezier pen inside here. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see the outside edge. Make sure that top is selected. Grab my Bezier pen and click and drag around the offending object. And the first thing you'll notice is it kept the offending object and just basically turned on uh, the bottom. So if we turn off the bottom frame and I've got transparency showing. So by default, it's gonna look black. But over here in the little wrench, you can turn on transparency, and this is much more like Photoshop or After Effects, where you can see that's the piece I kept. Well, if you go back over to the opacity mask, you can easily invert that. I do that because it's a tiny piece that I wanna remove out. Instead of selecting everything else, select what you want out, and then just invert it. Okay, and you can also see that we've got feathering inside here, so I can smooth that out and feather it as long as I don't go too far to where his head might be in that area. Now when I turn on V1, and we have a closer look at this, and we deselect the mask, there's the shot, there's a the shot, there's a the shot, there's a the shot. Again, as long as he doesn't go so far over that he's in this floating element over in here, which would cut a hole in it. Remember, if I turn off the bottom, um, we've got a hole in that layer where it is. All right, so I've created one mask, but if I wanted to, I could click on here and create another and create another and create another. Obviously, I don't want to do that, but I could create as many masks as I want. Also, we now have two layers in here, and that might be a little difficult to work with, so I can select all of them, and I can nest them together and I'll call this Rod Fix. Boom, now I've got one clip, one clip, clip, back and forth, background element removed. Whew, see how easy that is? Don't go searching for garbage mats, don't go searching for crop, use the opacity mask that's built right into every single clip inside Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for video reveal. And if you're not already using Adobe Creative Cloud, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.